Hey everyone, welcome back to The Long Dark. We're here in the Pleasant Valley Farmstead starting episode 10. Uh, last episode we came into Pleasant Valley and worked our way to Thompson's Crossing. Um, and then to the barn, and now we're here. So let's get to looting this place. It's late afternoon. Uh, we are getting tired and we're getting hungry, so we do have to keep an eye on that. But that's a good pot right there. Oh nice, and some maple syrup too. Yeah, so we still have to loot this place. We rolled in the uh, last episode. But let's get to it here. I'm just going to see what condition all of these are. Take the best one. So there's one pot. There's another pot. We got an 87%, which we'll keep on us. And we might as well just put the can there as well. Um, I think I'm going to eat something real quick. So let's drink this. I don't want to lose the food bonus and take unnecessary uh, damage from accidentally forgetting to eat. So that would be nice. 62% peach is pretty good. Not bad at all. Um, so yeah, let's start digging into this place. Um, I'm trying to calculate in my mind where our next move is. The trick to Dead Man, being successful in Dead Man anyway, is to always plan your next move. Always be a step ahead, you know, of what you're doing right now in the moment. So um, I'm really thinking somewhere towards Draft Dodgers or maybe going up to the plane crash would be the best move for us. Um, it's kind of on the way. And it's a pretty direct way to get there, so... I don't know. I feel like we could probably uh, move that way pretty soon. Again, Dead Man's all about pushing, so we gotta uh, we gotta go while we can. Ooh, candy bar. Nice. So, how's our food looking? Yeah, food is still gonna be a premium, for sure. Oh, a wool tube, guys. Alright. Uh, we have one. That'll replace this one. Awesome. Very nice. Cool. Alright. Well, while we still have this torch, let's just go ahead and keep exploring this place. We're going to want to get into the basement too before the torches go out. But we have... How many torches do we got? Yeah, we got plenty. We're fine. We're all good. Doesn't seem like anything's over here though. Alright, let's head over to the rooms back here. We did find a vest. Oops. Yeah, we just found another pretty beaten up sports vest. It's not too worth carrying. So what I might do is just put it in one of these filing cabinets. Uh, let's see. Is there going to be anything in here for us? Probably not. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put that vest away. We could keep it for cloth. I do realize that. But we have so many um, curtains in this place that we just don't need it, really. Just don't need it. Uh, we'll toss that down. Put that up. We're looking 94 pounds. What are we carrying? We've got to be carrying some pelts, right? Yeah, we are. I'm going to want to drop those in the front as well. Uh, might be a good idea. Let's go ahead and go over here. And we'll drop the deer. The deer, uh, what is it there? Deer hide? Yep, we'll drop that. And we'll drop the birch and the maple. The maple are the most important, really. Uh, yeah, let's get the things over here. Put that at the door. Hopefully we don't forget these, but... Would it surprise you if I forget them? Probably not. Wouldn't surprise me either. Alright, down to 91. Still a little heavy, but what can you do? Alright. Tear that down when we get a chance. Uh, that book. Hey, more food. Awesome. Alright. More books, which I'm sure we'll probably dump somewhere. And then nothing in those cabinets. Okay. Let's move upstairs. Could get a ski jacket spawn up here if we get lucky. Not sure about it, though. Come on, clothing. Nothing. Wow. It's brutal for clothing, too. I mean, right? We've explored, I think, more than... I'd say about maybe 25% of the world so far. Maybe 20%. And look at our clothing situation. Not the greatest. Not the greatest at all. I'm going to go ahead and just drop that and wear that. Yeah, it's not great whatsoever. Um, but that's fine. We've still got a lot of more world to explore. And some more clothes to craft, too. So that should be interesting. Um, yeah, we'll take the water. Actually, I bet you we're over 90 pounds because of the water we're carrying. Yep, 100%. Okay. That's fine. That's all droppable stuff. Alright, um, that cabinet sometimes can have good, like, pretty good clothes in it. I think I, I found a Mackinac. Ooh, nice. 
a Mackinac and a ski jacket in here before. So let's go ahead and try it. Nice. Dead man special right there. Absolute. Uh, a fat zero. That's what it is. Very nice. All right. Oh, firearm cleaning kit. Unfortunate. That takes the spot of something else that could have spawned. Oh, well. Much too bad. Uh, looks like there's some scrap metal here. I don't know if I want to take it, though. Nothing back there. Okay. Um, so that's about it for here. Let's go ahead and do this room first. And then that should be all. See what's in here? Probably nothing. Yep. Take a peek at these two drawers. Yep, nothing. All right. And I can bet you there's nothing in here. All right. Well, that was uh, the farmstead. Not horrible. I do like how we found a majority food. That's always good. But, you know, it's only going to last so long. So, right, let's go ahead and drop that. Might as well. Should we replace it? I don't know. Actually, yes, we need to. We have to search the basement, which I completely forgot about. So let's go ahead and do that. 10 cattails, bring it down to, uh, or 11 cattails, bring it down to nice even 10. Go ahead and eat the maple syrup. And I might even go ahead and eat the peaches once. Yeah, actually, yeah, let's do that right now. So another can, we have 16% dog food. Um, I probably should, I should have eaten that when it was above 20%. Because then it's, I don't think, a, it's a guaranteed no food poisoning, I'm pretty sure. So, the fact that we let it drop below 20 is a bit of a mistake, but it's fine. We'll move on from it. Um, okay, quality tools, right? And we have an extra hacksaw. So I'm tempted to drop the hacksaw. I'm tempted to put stuff, like, on this couch here. Kind of as a little storage area. Actually, let's be a little bit more better about this, I guess. Just put it in here. There goes the hacksaw. Um, can we don't need. Jerry can definitely don't need. Um, two shooting books. I guess that's fine, right? Put one whetstone away. Keep another one of those on me. The books. Don't need them. Um, harvesting book. I think I'm all set on the harvesting book. But I'll put two coal in there. Just in case, right? Uh, we do have three stems. I'm really inclined to keep all the stems on me. I don't want to leave anything behind in case, uh unfortunate stuff happens so oh right so we could do some arrow crafting here now that i'm thinking about it we definitely could and i'm really tempted to leave all the birch here i'm really tempted i don't know i think we should still keep it on us because there's a crafting there's a workbench in timberwolf mountain that we could get access to in the mountaineer's hut so i mean it's pretty convenient um, and it's pretty easy to fight cabin fever if we do get it in Timberwolf Mountain, so. But I'm thinking maybe we do some crafting there. That would probably be a, a smart idea. That way it gives us some time for our green uh, maple there to, to cure. And hopefully, hopefully we can go ahead and grab some, uh, some guts and get those cured before we head into Ash Canyon. So that's going to be a big thing. That's going to be a pretty big thing. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to see what happens. Open that up. Probably nothing in these lockers, but you never know until you look, right? Oh my gosh! I love eating my words when that happens. <laughs> awesome. So 29% maple syrup. I'm pretty sure that might not get us food poisoning since it's above 20%. I'll have to do a double check on that because I don't want to eat it and then get poisoned. That would be very unfortunate. All right, nothing on the, uh, the workbench here. So also with that, oh my gosh, more food, guys. Awesome. But also with that said, um, I think I'm going to drag the quality tools with us up to Timberwolf Mountain. Um, and we'll see what happens with those. Just a smart area, I think. Timberwolf Mountain's a pretty good area to be. Uh, oh, we'll try that on. It's a pretty good um, area to be. Lots of food. So, despite the weather not being as great but that's okay uh i'll take this with me i want to tear it down no matches down here guys that's a little interesting i've never seen that before i thought down here was a guaranteed uh match spawn 
I suppose not. Yes. Gonna check all the all the spots here with the loot refresh, you know. That'd be a good spot for an item. Man, if they wanted to make this game really hard, they would put items in like the most wildest places you just wouldn't expect, right? Like a full-on scavenger hunt. That'd be pretty cool. That would be cool. Um, Alright, I'm not seeing any uh, matches in there. What is that I saw? Nothing. Alright. Doesn't look like yeah, Nothing back there. Search that out. Yeah, what can you do? Man, I thought there were guaranteed matches here. I guess not. I guess that's maybe changed. Unless I... Unless I picked them up and I'm just an idiot. <laughs> I'm just like an idiot and I just don't know. But anyway, enough of that. We should probably start heading to bed soon. I think that would be a pretty wise idea. Okay, this thing isn't even touching the wall right now. What is that? That's some cheap architecture right there. 90% cured on those maples, guys. Awesome. Six days to cure. Birch takes four. So these should get done relatively around the same time, basically. I'd be willing to bet around the same day. All right, we'll keep those there. Um, we'll head upstairs and call it a, uh, a day. I think before we go to bed, though, I want to repair my hat. That way we don't walk out into the cold. All right. Great. Let's go ahead and get the hat selected. 73. It'll take us up to 100% if we get this. Nice. All right. Look at that. Two very nicely repaired things. I like it. Um, let's see. That's point... Okay, yeah. This is obviously better. So I'm going to drop that. And I think I'm going to repair this as well. I normally wouldn't repair, you know, junk shirts like this, but it's all we got, so we might as well. Oh, come on. Still have enough time. Nice. Good repair. Yeah, look at this. 0 0.9. Not bad. Not bad at all. These need a repair, though. Oh, my gosh. Most definitely. We should have enough time. Oh, of course. Oh, boy. Okay. 20%. Yikes. Um. Hmm. I see. I see, I see. Okay. All right, we're going to have to deal with this in the morning. So let's go ahead and sleep now, maybe. Probably a good idea. Put in a few hours right now. I, I'm going to say that we probably are going to end up with cabin fever. But it's not a huge deal. All you got to do is just sleep outside. So that's not too bad. And if we keep sleeping, I'm pretty sure that fever risk will mitigate. It'll kind of stay tamed, if you will. So let's go ahead and put another four in. Ooh, looks like we got an Aurora, too. Very cool. That's super cool. Awesome. Um, no time to play around, though. Let's go ahead and put another three in. Oof, almost ran low on water there. A little worried. A little worried. How we doing on cabin fever? Okay, guys. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's steady around 30%. I think we're okay. Um, for now. Go ahead and sleep, too. So, yeah. Once we, um... Yeah, I was gonna say, once we wake up, we should probably go ahead and start a fire. Maybe take a peek outside. See what's happening, and then from there we should go. Most definitely. Um, maybe I'll start a fire out here. Hopefully it's sunny. Get a nice free fire. That'd be nice. Yep, staying around 30%. So can't really argue with that. That's pretty reasonable. Ooh, guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh, no maglins. Really? Kind of find that hard to believe. All right, well. Oh, look at that. Wow, we got cold very fast. 
Yikes. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to use my judgment and say, since we are looking at only 28% cabin fever, I'm going to say we start a fire in here, get our T's down, get all that good stuff going, and then we'll start moving. It's really all we can do, right? Can't be sticking around. Got to keep going. So I think our, our next target is going to be the plane crash, definitely. Maybe we can get some food. Get some food, get some clothing. Um, yeah, I think that's the game plan. We'll stay in the Burnt Ridge Cave, I believe it is. It's it's something along now, along those other lines. All right. Uh, I don't think we need any water. Yeah, no, we're perfectly set on water. Don't need any of that. Um, but I'm going to drop a coffee, one of those, and one of those. Get our buffs going here. Very nice. All right, cool. Um, I'd be really inclined too to knock down a little bit more uh, wood. That way we have it. Just put one on. All right, gotta think about what we want to eat here. Should I go with the maple syrup? I'm not sure. Not completely sure. I'll go with the safer food though. That's pretty safe. All right, so an hour 30 in the fire, not bad. Um, I do want to head out here and see what's going on. Pleasant Valley's pretty cold, you know, so, you know, around noon is not going to be warm. Negative 30, oh my gosh. Yikes, guys. Ugh, it's like, what do you do with that, you know? What do you do? All right, so... Uh, 96% on those, 99 on the green maples. Ooh. So it does look like we're going to want to take these to, um, we're going to want to take these to the Mountaineer's Hut for sure. For sure. Uh, cabin fever is 25%, so it did go down a little bit for some reason. Um, that's fine. I'm going to keep breaking stuff away. Good. 35% on that. Yeah, nothing I really want to eat. I think the maple syrup is going to be okay to eat, but I'm just not too sure. I don't really want to risk it. We might risk it. Let's just do it. Nice. That was a good risk. I like that. That was good. All right, not going to drink too much because we're going to need some room for our teas. Um, tell you what, let's go ahead and just add a little bit more. Uh, and I'll even put a, another reclaimed on. So we got two hours. I think what I'm going to do is just break down some sticks outside. Break down some of our torches. Negative 13. That's a lot better than negative 30, I must say. Uh, let's go ahead and break that down. Look at our temperature. Yikes, huh? That's pretty cold. That is pretty cold. All right, I'm going to break down the 16% as well, because it doesn't do anyone any favors. And we'll break that one down, too. All right, cool. Um, cabin fever still at 28. That's fine. Still pretty foggy. Still pretty foggy. Not bad. It's not bad, but it's still very cold. Even in the windshade, I mean, it's not warm. So... That's a thing. And you know what else is a thing, too? Um, no bedroll. So we have to be very careful if we want to uh, make this journey. we got to be very strategic about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on another Reclaimed. It seems a little overkill, but I'm going to sleep two hours, I think, upstairs. And uh, just to get the energy back, you know. I don't want to be heading out with only... Uh, with only like three quarter energy. So it's best to be maxed out. All right, cool. Hopefully it's a little, little warmer outside. I doubt it is because I hear the wind, but. All right. Ooh, that's a nice, uh, that's a nice little, little shot there. 58 minutes on that. Wow, could have slept for three hours. Well, probably, probably shouldn't have on that anyway because that would have been a bad idea and we couldn't because we'd wake up anyway so all right what's out here anything a uh, little warmer i can appreciate that 
Cabin fever holding steady. So I'm not too mad about that. Um, so I think the way we're going to want to get out of here is going over that way. And then once we hit the river, we'll just follow it up. I think that's that's the right call anyway. 77 in here. Not bad. 83. Hey. I like the temperature in my room right now. <laughs> um, all right. All those are hot. I'm really inclined to go. I am really inclined to go. But we need a lot of torches. So let's go ahead and take a second. I really do want to keep this, maybe put a few extra minutes on this fire just in case the torch gets blown out and we have to uh, retreat back. Keep a half hour on it, maybe. I don't know. That's good. I don't want to waste all my sticks on that, as you'd imagine. All right. Uh, let's pick up our belongings and let's go. Don't think we left anything behind. Hope not. All right. Here we go. Just listening for sounds right now. Sometimes you can get a little head start on hearing the bear. But I think we're good. I think we're okay. I'm actually going to go over here and stop at these race or rose hips, rather. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at this cold. Yikes, guys. Gonna have to drink a, uh, a buff already. A little unfortunate. It's dead man, though, huh? What do we expect, right? Alright, so in the windshade should be okay. I mean, it's negative three. It's nothing horrible. We should be able to get to the cave relatively soon. And if we can't, we just start a fire. That's all. Um, negative 24, though. Yikes. Not... Great traveling weather, but we really don't have a choice. I would have stayed a little longer, and honestly, I probably should have stayed a little longer, but my main fear, I actually have two fears right now. It's cabin fever, and it's colder weather. Or worse weather, anyway. Um, so, if the weather's sunny, we move, regardless of time of day, I think is what it is, what it comes down to. So hopefully we can make it to the cave. We're already at half temperature. I'm already going to have to drink another one. But some cattails, at least. Oh my gosh, I thought that was a, uh, a wolf. Alas, it was not. That's good. Alright. Stay in the windshade should be okay. But... Hopefully it gets warmer soon. It's negative two. It's coming up a little bit. Coming up just a little bit. Negative two. I believe that's like negative... Yikes. A little rusty on my Celsius conversions. I think that's maybe around negative 20 Celsius. Negative 25. Either way, it's cold. Very cold. Um, okay. I'm really tempted to start a fire. Really tempted to start a fire. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do right here. Uh, we do have a mag lens, so let's go ahead and do it. 95% chance should be in the bag. Let's see, though. Because, I mean, we should be able to put on a coal, and that should recover fairly well, the temperature. But I just want to get more buffs going. That's really what I want to do right now. Now, if memory serves correctly, the, the cave near the plane crash isn't too far from here. But, I don't know. I could be wrong. Alright. Let's put the um, coffee down again. Well, that should be... It'd warm us up, right? Almost there. I don't like this little hatch here. Alright. So, while that's going, let's go ahead and make some rose hips. These are going to be vital. And I'll even go ahead and cook them right now. Actually, let's do the herbal tea. And we'll also do a rose sip. Very good. Alright, uh, what are we looking for? Torches right now? Not bad. Not bad. I think I'm actually going to walk with a torch, too. 40 degrees. 41. Okay, not horrible. I'm going to put on three more sticks. Try to maximize this temperature out. As best as we can. Cabin fever looks like it's gonna 
fade away by the time we get to the plane crash, which is good. Definitely. But, uh, let's see, four minutes, do that. Three minutes, do that. I'm actually going to take both of these back. Not going to make any more water or anything crazy like that. And we'll put that there. And we'll go ahead and drop this. Look how much herbal tea we have, guys. We got five more. That's really awesome. And we've got nine more coffees. So, we're looking amazing. Oh, so good. All right. Um, there's no real food I want to eat right now. Yeah, there's nothing I really want to want to munch on. Probably going to wait until we get more cattails. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, we got nice windshade protection, so that's great. 26 till burned. Let's fix that. Great. I'm going to try to take advantage of this fire as best as we can. Rocking 48 degrees. That might take a little bit. Might be a while. There we go. Getting into the 50s now. Great. All right. Um, those are going, you know, I don't know. I want to do a water. I guess we can get away with maybe one, one small little batch. Yeah, that, that's, that's fine. I don't mind. Of course, it's going to get a little windy though. So let's go ahead and try taking some torches off of this. I'll even take the pot back. Because the pot's important. 50 minutes, that's five worth of torches, but should dip below that. Yeah, now it's three. Got one. Put out. Got two. Go ahead and put that out. Great. And we'll wait a little bit, a little bit longer. Heaven fever is going bye-bye. Yeah, so we're good. Awesome. Not going to drink anything on that front. All right, now let's go. Gotta try not to sprint, unfortunately. It's still pretty cold, guys. Yikes. 13 degrees. This is Pleasant Valley for you. It's really anything but pleasant. Oh, boy. Okay. I really hope memory is serving correctly in terms of uh, where the uh, plane crash is. It would be really unfortunate to uh, walk in the wrong direction. All right. Let's go ahead and drink another tea. My gosh, we're burning through teas today, but what can you do? Okay, so it should be over here. Yes, the, the uh, house wreck is there. I know there's sometimes a wolf spawn over here as well. Or like, you know, right where we need to be. That, that works too. Uh, there's another wolf right there. They're going to hear us, guys. They are going to hear us for sure. So we're going to have to find a workaround here. Yeah, we're going to have to find a little way around. Um, so maybe we can come at it from this angle back here. Scoop around. Could put us in the windshade for a little longer as well. I know right now we can't really afford the... Uh, longer roots, especially because we're a little crunched for temperature, but I don't know. I think it's okay. I think it's okay for now. Uh, go ahead and, and do a drop and replace. I'm going to take a little better of a torch this time, just because I don't really know what's over here. Not hearing any wolves. It's always a good start. There's a cat tail over there, but I really don't think I'm going to go for it. We should be able to find a few in Timberwolf Mountain. It shouldn't be crazy rare, you know? It shouldn't be, anyway. So, if memory does serve correctly, Giraffe Dodgers is going to be somewhere over here. Am I going to be right, or am I? is my memory fading? Yeah, th this looks very... Oh, it's right there. <laughs> uh, actually, guys... Uh... My memory's not fading. Surprisingly. That's great. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll dip into draft dodgers for a minute. I don't see why not. Let's go ahead and take the reishis, too. Oh, and there's a bed in here, too, guys. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's tempting. It's tempting to spend the night, but 
I think we just have too much, uh, we've got too much energy to spend the night. So I think we're just going to move on to uh, the plane crash. I think the main worry, though, is just temperature, like I said earlier. It's brutal in Pleasant Valley. It's just absolutely ruthless. There is some food here, though. Some nice food. In the form of rabbits. Hmm. Yeah, guys, it's tempting. It's actually very tempting. And it's not the end of the world, too, if we get locked in here, right? It's not the end of the world. Um. Alright. Alright, that's fine. Let's go ahead and put the fire over here. That's good. Uh, ooh, one cedar. Really? Getting running low on firewood, to be honest. Oh, that's a little interesting. I'm gonna have to fix that problem. Alright. Yeah, I think while we're out getting rabbits, we should collect as many sticks as we can. Um, probably a smart idea. Put these on for now. Throw that out. Get the rocks out. Let's go. Still have the warm buff, so we shouldn't have a problem. Probably should have put a coal on that fire, but... Look at all the rabbits here. Oh my gosh. Look at all the firewood too, guys, huh? Draft Dodgers, man. This is a place. This is definitely a good place. Oh, that's right. You couldn't hide behind the tree. What a sniper. All right. Two rocks left for two bunnies. It seems, uh, it seems possible anyway. I'm just a little worried about the temperature. Uh, hopefully we can do this quicker. All right. Um, gonna take this one too. Not sure where they are right now. There's one of the bunnies. Gonna be a wolf following us, so we gotta put that down. Uh, and throw that. Very nice. Very, very good. Alright. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that fire went out. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, let's go take a peek. Uh, maybe we can take these rabbits over. Come on. Shouldn't be sprinting, but... It's fine. We'll be alright. Um, 23 minutes. I'm really reluctant to put a coal on it, to be honest. The wind is just so unpredictable here. Um, 48 minutes. That's fine. Let's go ahead and, and take one in and harvest it. Uh, we could probably do a, a quick search, too. Try to get some good clothes, maybe. There can be. There's, it's a possible. I mean, there's clothing drawers here, so... Ah, nothing, of course. Of course. Any food to make up for it? Probably not. There's going to be absolutely zero in here. Yep, nothing. Okay, well, great. Let's go ahead and harvest that bunny. 2.1. Oh, 11 minutes to do that. Oh, the hunting knife. So good. Improvised knife. Very good, very good. All right, let's head back out and cook these things. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a pot on the fire. Cool. Uh, 471. That could go right there. Oh, actually, no, it can't. Put that on. That was the only piece we had. Put that on. That rabbit is good. Pick that up to tear down eventually. 25 minutes on the fire. That's fine. Got to watch that. All right. We're fine. Yep, here goes our fire. Ooh. We'll get it... Um, yeah, we'll get it in time, though. That's great. So let's go ahead right now. That's why I didn't want to put a coal in the fire, you know? The weather in Pleasant Valley is so unpredictable. Not worth losing a fire, in my opinion. Oh, look at this spot right here. This is a grand spot. Put the uh, cedar wood on it. Man, I hope I dropped everything I had. Yeah, I hope I dropped the rabbit and stuff. That would be very unfortunate if I still have that on me. 
Part the fire. Okay, great. Awesome. Ooh, temperature's going down. Gotta be careful. That's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a coal on this one. All right, let's head inside. Ooh, that's that's close. That's a close one. Um, cooked rabbit. Let's eat it. Don't want to eat the raw rabbit for obvious reasons. All right, great. Um, am I gonna get instantly like three down if I step outside? No. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Put that on. Nice. Two up. Very good. Um, there was another rabbit out there too, but it might have despawned. Which is okay. Put down our stuff. Man, it, it is loud. It is so loud. Okay. Uh, we don't have another herbal because we burned through it already. So let's go ahead and make another one. Perfect. Nice, 66 out here. Cool. I'm really tempted to go try to seek out another rabbit, maybe. Uh, we have one more rock for one more rabbit. Hmm, okay. Put that rock away for now. And we'll drop this. Nice. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Eight minutes on that. That's fine. Let's go ahead and try to find that other rabbit. I have a feeling it might still be out here. But it is still out here. Very cool. Alright, um, let's take our time. Let's do this right. Nice. Good throw. Nice throw. Awesome. And I'll even pick up the rock. Awesome. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, we'll eat that. Okay, we're good on water. Definitely good on water. So I'm going to go ahead and take that back. Make sure those are good. Hour 34, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and use... 16 minutes to do that. Nice. Uh, is that the small piece? Nope. So let's go ahead and take the big piece, put it in the pot, and the small piece can go right there. Awesome. Good stuff. Look at all these dead bunnies just around. Doesn't look good. Without context, I guess, right? Uh, did that fire get blown out? It did get blown out. You're joking me. No. Oh my gosh, guys. Pleasant Valley's playing games on us. Come on. Come on. Oh, maybe maybe it'll die down. Come on, die down. Come on, wind, please. I've been such a good boy. Come on. Oh, boy. All right. Well, that's probably not going to cook. Probably not, yeah, that's probably not going to cook at all. Come on. That's done. Yeah, one minute. No way. No shot. Go ahead and uh, use a torch. No, instant blowout. Cool. Come on. Come on. Oh, it, it's so brutal. Not like this. Not like this. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, light sources, torch. Come on, reach it. Reach it. No, I can't get it. Can I get it here? Oh my gosh, that's harsh. That's so harsh. What? That's crazy. And now it's burnt out. Great. Awesome. 
Oh boy, Pleasant Valley. Of course. Of course. Okay. Well, we need to make a decision quick, and I think the decision is just going to be to go. Passing up on 500 calories, it's tough, you know? You never want to do it. But I think we should probably go. Take a minute to think. Um, 18, okay. We could probably get to the plane crash pretty quick. Our cheese are warm. Our cheese are warm. If we wait for the wind to calm down, it might just go right into a blizzard. We've got half energy, which isn't bad. Half energy is not bad. If we leave tomorrow, if we leave tomorrow, we can leave on a full tank of energy and we can ensure that we get to the plane crash and Timberwolf Mountain entrance. Hmm. We have enough food to stay the night. That's the thing. We have enough food and water and no cabin fever. All right, guys, I'm going to make the executive decision. I think we're going to stay. I think we're going to stay. So let's go ahead and start a fire. Oh, we can use a mag lens for this. Yes, very nice. One tinder left, yikes. Um, let's go ahead and use an accelerant. I know it's, it could be kind of wasteful, but I, I tend to carry accelerant and never use it. So if we use it, we lighten our load. So let's just do that. Okay, cool. I might even just go around and do a quick stick run as well. Nice, let's go ahead and grab our pot. Actually, yeah, we already have the pot. It's just the rabbit. All right. Let's go ahead. Hook the rabbit. Great. And we'll even do some water since we're staying the night as well. Nice. Awesome. Now, is the wind going to blow this out? doesn't look like it. It would be very Pleasant Valley, though, if, if that did happen. Okay. 28 near the fire. That's good. And then 24 to go on that. Great. Um, let's go ahead and see if there's more rabbits around. That would probably be a good use of time. And let's go ahead and pick up as many sticks as we can see. Uh, is that a rabbit down there? Nope. I think that was just a stick. Or, oh, negative six. Yikes. For this late in the day, that is brutal. That is brutal cold. That's fine, though. So this rope, I believe, goes to Skeeter's Ridge. Which we definitely could go to. We definitely could, but... The only con, really, is that it's infested with wolves, so... Pick your poison, right? Really good loot. At, ri at risk of just getting eaten by a wolf, so that's not really fun. But I think we'll pass on that. Alright. Let's head back to uh, our fire. Oh, the fire's blown, isn't it? Oh my gosh, Pleasant Valley. What are you doing to us? What are you doing to us? Oh my gosh. That This is ridiculous. This is just absolutely... It's... Oh my gosh. I can't cook. Pleasant Valley doesn't want me to cook my piece of meat. That's what it is. Ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to be losing uh, condition pretty soon over that. So let's just go in here. Finally, some peace and quiet from this stupid wind. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, what do you do, right? <laughs> what does one do in this situation? All right, let's go ahead and eat that. I'm going to go ahead and tear down as much as I can in here. I think within reason. So these crates are going to be the first to go. Go ahead and use our hands. Could probably even use our uh, our hatchet, but yeah, we'll use it on this. Four pieces is a good start. All right, the wind calmed down. Maybe. My gosh, oh my gosh, that that's just unbelievable. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Yeah, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what to think anymore. Of course, of course. And the wind kicks up again. And the wind kicks up again. Man. What a bru what a harsh region this is. It's not pleasant at all. Okay. Let's go back in, because we're going to get cold again. Uh, we got to make some tinder. I just have a feeling we're never going to be able to uh, cook what we need. 
silently breaking down tinder. That's interesting. All right, let's get some windshade pretty quick here. All right. Uh, I probably shouldn't be doing this. And I can't even get a mag lens anyway. Screw you, Pleasant Valley. Oh my gosh. I swear, man. This region's just... It's just a region made to get you, basically, is what it is. 100%. And it's not even that warm in here. Pleasant Valley. It's really just Unpleasant Valley. That's what it is. It's Unpleasant Valley. 100%. I'm so mad. I'm so mad, but that's dead man for you, I guess. All right, let's spend a little time to uh, break down our stuff here. I guess it's technically not the worst situation because in the morning we can just start a fire, get our buffs going, and heat up our um, our rabbit. So it's not terrible. Could be worse, right? Could be worse. Could always be worse, you know? All right, well, this is fine, I guess. We'll make do. So besides breaking this stuff down, I want to see if we can make any reishis because I'm sure we can. Yeah, look at all that, guys, huh? Nice. Very nice. Let's go ahead and craft all of it. Cool. All right, now it's, like, time for bed, you know? Uh, eh, well, hmm. Not quite yet. Not time for bed quite yet. Let's go ahead and read our fishing manual. Apparently, we don't know how to ice fish. Nice. That's an hour down. Another hour closer to dumping the book, which is good. All right. Not a lot of food, guys. Yikes. Not a ton of food at all. I'm going to go ahead and drop all those. Uh, we did pick up everything else, so let's just step over here real quick. I'm just going to dump the deer hide and the two birch. That way they can cure. Okay, well, I guess this isn't too horrible, but it could be... Yeah, it could be worse. It definitely could be worse. Let's put in two hours. Uh, one hour. I just want to warm up. Nicely. That's all I want. All I want is to be warm in this frozen world. That's all. Alright. Yeah, still 38 in here. Um, Gallon and 80. That's not bad. Probably gonna drink it all. Up there, actually. I'm gonna bring us down to 10 cattails. Make it nice and even. All this stuff, though, I really just don't want to eat. I really don't want to eat it. Um, that's why I'm hoping at the plane crash we can get there sooner rather than later, because I'm sure there's going to be some pretty good food. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see. All right. Put in three hours. Hopefully we can sleep through part of the morning, but I'm really not expecting to. Might have to break down some stuff. All right, good time for a, for a blizzard, if that's what I'm hearing. Let's see where we're at here. All right, almost morning. Three quarter energy. The blizzard's still going because why not? It's Pleasant Valley, right? All right. Food's looking okay. It's not looking great, but it's looking okay. I think if there's anything I want to eat, it'd be this, but this is just super sketchy anyway. 35%'s a little yikes. Cattails are really our best bet, I would say. And we still have 500 calories outside waiting for us from the bunny, so I wouldn't sweat it too much. But I think it just signifies the importance of we have to go soon. We've got to go very soon. Put three more in. All right, well, that's full energy right there. I think what we do is probably just read an hour. It's all we can do. Can't break anything down because it's dark. All right. Um, moldy rabbit. Did it really get moldy overnight? That's crazy. All right, well, when we cook it, it adds 50%, so I'm not too mad about it. All right. Can we use a mag lens? Yes, we can. Let's do it. And let's do it before we get cold, yeah? That would be good. Yeah, bunch of wasted coal this episode as well. Bunch of wasted coal. I think we've gone through two or three pieces. Which doesn't seem like much, but... 
where we're headed, it's a lot. We're not going to find that much coal where we're going. So, it's really crucial that we conserve as much as we can. You know? Um, yeah, just slap the rabbit on there. I don't even care. Actually, we'll put it in a pot. Oops. Yeah, put that in a pot. There we go. 27 minutes. Good. Um, put that on it. I'm actually going to put our teas on it as well. If this fire goes out, I really just don't know what to do. I think we just got to move anyway if the fire goes out. But okay. Let's go back in because the fire clearly isn't going to keep us warm. Alright. Perfect. Um, we'll eat another cattail. Cool. And I just want to do that maybe. Just to get enough going so we can warm up than we would if we just passed time outside. Ooh, this is not traveling weather. Yeah, that is not traveling weather, but luckily the uh, the wind did turn around. So we're good for now. I'm really reluctant to put a coal on this. I don't think I should. Yeah, and I'm not going to stay out here either for it. Let's just wait five minutes in here. All right, let's see what's going on outside. Cool, let's eat it. All right. 26 minutes on the fire. Um, put a reclaimed on. That's, a, that's good for one hour. So let's go in here for an hour. Pass a little bit of time. All right, that's, I think that's a full blizzard. Yes, it is. So, unfortunately, I think we're just going to have to let this fire go. Yeah, we're just going to have to let it go, unfortunately. Um, I will take some torches off of it, though. Even though <laughs> they're not lit, which is fine. I was going to probably put it out anyway. All right, so here we are, trapped in Dodgers. Trapped in Draft Dodgers for... Whoever, who knows how long, right? Uh, that's an hour and 57. That could be useful for us. That gives us cloth and tinder. Um, I'm actually really tempted to do that one. Um, I'll go ahead and drink up. All right. How much is the shelf? I think it's like two and a half, right? Yeah. Actually, yeah, it's literally just about. Okay. That's two and a half. This is what? Two hours. And that's two hours. Uh, the shelf is 20 minutes, but I don't know if that's necessarily going to be good for us. Yeah, let's do this. Wasn't enough for the blizzard, huh? Wasn't enough. Alright, that's okay. Just trying to get warm. That's all. What are we looking at for cloth? Nine pieces. That's pretty good. It's definitely pretty good. Uh, move that there. Is our... Yeah, these are cured. Awesome. Very cool. Alright, well, I don't see anything else to do but to pass a little bit of time. What's new, right? Passing time. Crazy. Alright. Come on. There we go. Okay. Pass a little bit of time. I'll even sleep for an hour, save some calories, warm up a bit. You know, all the good stuff there. Alright. It seems good outside. I don't know. It seems okay. Surprisingly. Oof. Look at this, guys, huh? Very nice. This is what I call traveling weather. Awesome. So yeah, we can totally start a fire. Totally start a fire and do that. Cool. I'm liking that. And three tender as well. So, awesome. So, I'm going to go in for a save. Um, coming up just about up to time here. Um, it's a really, really good place to leave off. We have a lot to do next episode, including making it to the Aben Prepper Cache. Um, just outside the Timberwolf Mountain entrance. So, we have that to look forward to. And we got the plane crash to look forward to as well. Hopefully, we get some good food. Some new loot. And, uh, yeah. Life will be good for us if we keep playing like this, you know. And hopefully, Pleasant Valley doesn't pin us down any any more than it has, so. 
Um, yeah, it's all problems for next episode, as I say. So, <laughs> so if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in the next episode.